version of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It is by the Buners. So this is one of my favorite renditions of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So as I read this story, maybe you want to read to a stuffed animal that you have, like mine. Um, and as you listen to the story and read along with me, why don't you think about how is this version different from other versions that you've read of Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Sometimes they're called different things, but I'm sure you'll find some of this delightful. You'll also see some similarities, but the illustrations are truly phenomenal. And I like the little twists that they add to this story. And so by the time you're done, maybe you'll understand the picture that's at the beginning of this video. So I hope you enjoy today's story. Let's get started. Goldilocks and the Three Bears by Carolyn Buner and Mark Buner. Once upon a time, in a little house in the woods, there lived a family of bears. They were Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Little Wee Bear. Every morning, the bear family sat down to eat breakfast. And every morning, their breakfast was the same, a bowl of porridge. But one morning, no one was able to eat any porridge at all. What do you think they're going to say about the porridge? Look at the picture. What do you notice? Do you see what's on the table with them? That's funny. This porridge is too hot, Papa Bear exclaimed after tasting a bite from his great big bowl. Mama Bear took a small nibble of the small bit of porridge from her medium-sized bowl. Oh dear, she said, it is too hot. Little Wee Bear, who loved porridge more than anything, took the biggest bite he could from his little wee bowl. When Mama and Papa looked at him, he tried to say, my porridge is just right. But because his mouth was so full, it sounded like, my porch has a bus light. Hmm, said Papa Bear. I know what we'll do, said Mama Bear. Let's all go for a walk. By the time we come back, our porridge will be perfect. So Papa Bear grabbed his hat and Mama Bear grabbed Little Wee Bear's hand. Little Wee Bear tried to grab his bowl of porridge, but Mama Bear was already out the door. Off they lumbered down the path. Lumbered means to walk heavy. Kind of like that. The Bear family was hardly out of sight when a little girl with yellow curls came skipping rope down the path. She skipped right up to the little house and pounded on the door and sang, Tra-la-la and tee-hee-hee, won't you come and skip with me? Of course, no one was home, so no one answered. Oh, look, they're swinging, baby bear. The little girl, whose name was Goldilocks, tried again. Hey, she banged on the door, and this time it flew open. Goldilocks slipped into the living room without missing a step. When she saw the three chairs, she chanted, Big chair, middle chair, little chair, too. Somebody's here to bounce on you. Goldilocks pulled herself up on Papa Bear's big chair and jumped. What do you think's going to happen? Let's find out. Next, she climbed on Mama Bear's medium-sized chair. But as soon as she tried to stand up, she sank right down inside. The chair makes me feel so small. She looks sleepy in it too. Then Goldilocks looked over at the little wee chair for little wee bear and grinned. But that chair looks like it's just right. I'll jump me an appetite. She climbed up on the little wee chair. She jumped and the chair bounced. Goldilocks jumped and bounced, jumped and bounced until she jumped right through the seat of the little wee chair. Oopsie daisy, what a mess, she giggled. Bounced a bit too much, I guess. She hopped right up when she saw the three little bowls of porridge on the table and started skipping rope again. Hmm, do you think she cares she broke the bear's chair? Porridge, porridge, sitting in a bowl. I'm going to eat until I'm full. Goldilocks tasted a spoonful of porridge from the great big bowl. Ouch! She spit out the huge mouthful of porridge. This porridge is too hot! Next, Goldilocks, helps her, Goldilocks helped herself to a spoonful of porridge from the medium-sized bowl. She shivered. Oh, this one is certainly not. Then Goldilocks tasted a spoonful of the porridge in the little wee bowl. Yum, yum, she mumbled. Finally! This porridge tastes just right to me. 
Goldilocks ate until there wasn't even one bit left of the little wee bull. Then she let out an enormous yawn. <sighs> Guess I'm a sleepyhead. I'll think I'd, I'll jump right into bed. Goldilocks skipped up the stairs. Well, that's impressive. When she saw Papa Bear's great big bed, she climbed up and flopped back on the pillow. Immediately, she sat up rubbing her head. This bed feels like a big old brick. She climbed onto the silky medium-sized bed that was Mama Bear's. But as soon as she lay down, she slid off the end of the bed and bounced onto the floor. This bed here is much too slick. Then Goldilocks spied li Little Wee Bear's Little Wee Bed. Oh, I hope with all my might that this wee bed will be just right. Goldilocks tucked herself in the cozy little bed with her jump rope curled up beside her. Soon she was sound asleep. Meanwhile, which is an excellent transition word, Mama Bear, Papa Bear, and Little Wee Bear were just returning from their walk. They were very hungry, but when they saw that the door to their house was open, they stopped. How very strange, said Papa Bear. Do you think someone's inside, said Mama Bear. Maybe it's a wild beast, Little Wee Bear squealed. The Bear family hurried into the living room. There was no mistake about it. Someone's been sitting in my chair, exclaimed Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, cried Mama Bear. Look, Little Wee Bear's eyes grew very big as he pointed to the mess on the floor. Something's been sitting in my chair too and broke it to bits. Maybe it was a look. Little wee bear's eyes grew very big as he pointed to the mess on the floor. Something's been sitting in my chair, too, and broke it to bits. Maybe it was a monster. Then the three bears saw the table. Someone's been eating my porridge, roared Papa Bear. Oh, I don't know if I said that loud enough for roaring. Someone's been eating my porridge, wailed Mama Bear. I'm going to try those again. Someone's been eating my porridge, roared Papa Bear. I feel like that was better. Someone's been eating my porridge, wailed Mama Bear. It's important to read it the way the author wanted you to. Little Wee Bear looked sadly at his bowl. Something has eaten my porridge. I think it was an alien. The three bears were very disturbed. Together, they tiptoed up to the bedroom. My Bed, Papa sputtered. Someone's been lying in my bed. Look, Mama Bear whispered. Someone's been lying in my bed too. Something's been lying in my bed, Little Wee Bear pointed to his little wee bed. And I think it's still there. The three bears crept over to the little wee bed. When they saw Goldilocks, they were very frightened. It's a wild beast, Papa Bear growled. It's a monster, moaned Mamba Bear. It's an alien, Little Wee Bear whispered excitedly. The Bear family didn't know what to do. Finally, Little Wee Bear reached out and poked the jump rope. Goldilocks's eyes popped open. cried the three bears. Eek! screamed Goldilocks. Then she threw off the covers and sprang out of bed. Pardon me if I don't stay. Don't feel like jumping away. Goldilocks leapt out of the window and ran away before the three bears had even stopped yelling. The bears watched until Goldilocks was out of sight. I declare, Mama Bear exclaimed. I'm so upset I couldn't eat a bite. Papa Bear looked at Little Wee Bear, and Little Wee Bear looked at Papa Bear. We could, they said. Hmph, Mama Bear rolled her eyes. But she mixed up another huge pot of porridge anyway. And this time, 
it was just right. I hope you enjoyed today's story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears by the Buners. What did you notice about this story that's different from any traditional stories? Maybe it's the illustrations, maybe it's what happened in the story, and maybe it's differences in the characters, things that they said, things that they did, how they behaved. What do you think? Feel free to share. Thanks for listening.